on this episode of Ham Radio Q&A. Should this be your first radio? Well, the answer may surprise you. Welcome to another episode of Ham Radio Q&A, the show where we answer your questions. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. All right, you just got your amateur radio license and you're itching to get on the air. But first, you need a radio. What type should you get? Well, as a volunteer examiner, I've been asked this question scores of times. It's a common question for the new ham and one that doesn't have an easy answer. But hopefully in this video, we'll shed some light on what's available to help you make a good purchase decision. As a new technician radio license holder, you will most likely set your eyes on the VHF and UHF bands. I know techs also have limited privileges on the HF bands, and we'll talk about getting your first HF rig in a future video. Today, let's concentrate on VHF and UHF communications. And in this realm, your choices boil down to two formats, the handheld radio and the mobile base station. So should you first get a handheld or a mobile radio? Well, the advantages of handhelds are, of course, portability, price, and convenience portability in that you can take your handheld just about anywhere, price in that they are affordable, with some selling as low as $30, and of course convenience. Everything is in one package, radio, power supply, and antenna. But what makes handhelds so convenient is also their biggest downside. You're limited in transmit power, batteries quickly discharge, and rubber duck antennas are lackluster. Mobile base radios, on the other hand, offer high power, longer duty cycles, and a loud audio output. The downside is that they aren't very portable, and you need, a, need to add an antenna and power supply for operation. But the rigs are well suited for mobile use in your vehicle, and longer rig tool style conversations at home. So it may be no easy choice between, between the two. Maybe the answer is, what do you want to get out of amateur radio? Are you on the road a lot and need a mobile? Are you looking to get involved with emergency communications? Do you want to make friends over the air? And most importantly, what's your budget? These questions will lead you to what, into what radio choices are best for starting out. But budget is the biggest consideration you may have, as you may not have a lot of money to spend, or in getting started with the hobby, you may not want to make a big initial investment, only to later regret it. So in that spirit, I'm going to lay out a roadmap to building your amateur radio station. Prices are approximate and nothing I say is an endorsement of a particular brand. This is just a guideline to help you build your own station. First, with the bare bones package, for about $35, you can get a Chinese handheld radio, you know, like the Baofeng, and a programming cable. This will get you on the air with local repeaters and you'll have something to use at club functions and public service activities. Add another 20 to that for an aftermarket antenna and maybe a speaker mic. But handhelds are difficult to use in your car. And if you want to go mobile, you'll need a mobile rig. So to get a basic mobile station, you're going to have to add about $180 for a basic 2 meter rig from Yesu, Icom, or Kenwood. And a Magmount whip antenna. Now with a rig in your car and a handheld for the house, you should be all set. Now that you'll find using the handheld in the house, gives you may give you spotty coverage you know you can't hit all the repeaters indoor and you may have that you may have worked outside or you like to chat on simplex with other hams so let's add an external antenna feed line and an adapter for your handheld well that package will set you back about 75 to 100 dollars depending on how much feed line you need this setup will work nice you'll hit all the area repeaters you'll be able to talk to, with simplex with your local friends but the handheld as a base radio is cumbersome. The battery doesn't last for long, and they tend to overheat if you use them for long periods of time. So if you take your mobile, so if you, but you can take your mobile out of the car and use it in the house, but switching radios like that isn't a long-term solution. You're better off to get a second base station and a power supply. Well, power supplies are about $100 for a basic two meter rig, and a basic two meter rig is about around another 140. But consider this. Now that you've been playing around with ham radio for a bit, you decided you'd like to try some of the linked systems, like IRLP or EchoStar, or maybe a digital mode like D-Star and System Fusion. That's great. These activities are loads of fun and open up the world to you on the VHF and UHF bands. Budget around $300 to up to $700 for either a simple dual band mobile base station or a full featured D-Star transceiver. So to recap, 
start out with an inexpensive handheld like this one. Get a mobile setup for your car. Install an antenna in feed line for a home station. Get a power supply. Add another rig, maybe a dual band one like the one we see here. And um, you'll spend, and with all of that, you could spend up to $1,200 for a handheld mobile and base station coverage. Do you have to spend that much money? Of course you don't. Just buy the pieces that interest you and spread the purchase over time to fit your budget. But what matters most is to get on the air, make some contacts, meet new people, and most importantly, have fun. The amount of money you spend is immaterial. So with that, invest into the amateur radio hobby the amount you feel comfortable with. Well, thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos are released and follow me on Facebook. Read the blog over at www.jpole-antenna.com or you can get your questions answered by leaving a comment below or emailing me at 89VBR at jpole-antenna.com. That's it for another episode of Ham Radio q and I'm Michael, KB9ZBR, 73.